Well, the start of another work week, and today's theme was black and white and red all over. And <clears throat> it was kind of easy for me. I don't know. I'll show you what I did. Um, actually, these earrings are so pretty. They're from Kate Spade from Rock's Box, so it's like some cubic zirconias attached to a row of pearls, which I really liked. So let me show you the outfit. Okay, well this is a necklace you've seen me wear it multiple times. It's just some black chains gathered together here with a little bar. And this is just a rounded collar white uh, button down shirt that I got from Mod Cloth. And then I put it on with my red jean jacket from Torrid. Put it on with a red stretchy belt. Let me show you the bottom. So I don't know if you can see this, but this is black and white and then it has red striping throughout it. And it's a, like a very stretchy skirt that I've had, oh my gosh, 10 years probably. Just never got rid of it. And then I just put it on with some black tights and my black flats. And when I put up the my Outfit of the Day video on Sunday night, someone had mentioned like, oh my gosh, girl, how can you wear flats in Illinois and Chicago in the winter? Actually, I just wear them in the office, and I just wear my black winter boots, snow boots, to and from work, so I really don't wear them out in the cold. But anyway, so that was the outfit. Tomorrow is pretty in pink. I love wearing pink, so I'm excited. Um, pink's my favorite color. All right, have a good evening, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. So today is Cindy's <clears throat> challenge was red, black, and white, so... I wore my red and black sweater that I got from Walmart. I have a white turtleneck that I got from Walmart. I'm wearing my Liverpool black jeans, my soft jeans. And I don't know if you can see this, but I'm wearing my black Uggs with a little bit of a red sock sticking out of the top, just a little bit. Let me get up closer so you can see it. There we go. So this is my outfit for today. Red, black, and white all over. Red, black, and white all over. Have a good night. Bye. Hello, we're doing Cindy's outfit challenge, and today it was red and black. Red all over, I believe. And white. And white. Mm -hmm. I missed the memo on the white, but that's okay. Uh, I went through my closet, and I figured out I have one red shirt, so that's how I picked this out, and it's from Amazon. This jacket, I thought it would pair well. It's super comfy, really thick. I got it from an online boutique, I believe leggings because they're my favorite and then booties nice. oh and earrings and a barrette to complement it <laughs> i'm just you paired it all well together it you got a nice together. turtleneck on what'd you tell what did you tell me about the scarf today i found this i've had it for like 10 years haven't worn it in that length of time and i found i Remembered laying in bed last night that I had it, so I was. And you got the white in there. I got yes. The white in there. And then you Eight just the wore day. your black jean jacket, which matches your black jeans and, and my black boots. In her black booties. Ooh, let me see those boots up close. Those are cute boots. Mm -hmm. Very cute boots. So there you have it. There are my coworkers' outfits for the black, red, and white challenge today. Good Tuesday morning to you. Um, you'll have to forgive my hair. It's been, oh my gosh, um, probably almost 10 weeks. I usually get it done every six weeks. I'm getting it done tomorrow. I can't really do too much with it. So anyway, today was pink day. I know it doesn't look like it from up here, but on the bottom it is. So let me show you what I wore. I just wore some simple black hoops. That I think I got, I don't know, Walmart or whatever, just a cheapy store. And then this is just a little black beaded necklace with a little fake stones inside, which I got off of eBay. And then this bl blouse is a um, long sleeve blouse that I got from Eloquy with big polka dots. Put it on with my black jacket because I have to go to physical therapy and then right to O'Hare and I'm going to be walking around two different terminals in O'Hare because I've got all this badging work to do over there 
and it's going to be a lot of walking. So I had to look kind of nice but comfy because I had to do a lot of walking on my knees. So this is what I came up with. Anyway, so this black jacket is from The Loft, which I like and wear often. And then I have on my pink pants from Eloquy. I know you guys have seen these before. These are the best pants ever, no matter what shape you are. They have three different varieties, depending on where you carry your weight and how the pants fit. So I would recommend these pants to anybody for work pants. And then I just have on my black Franco Sardo um, loafers, which I'll show you up close. Aren't these shoes cute? I've had them for about a year and a half, and I have them in navy blue and burgundy, too. So, all right, so I'm off to do a lot of work and running around today, and tomorrow is Wednesday, and it's Sweet Mint Day. Now, that day's going to be hard. I know I have a lot of mint-colored clothes for the summer, but winter, oof. I might have to go with a darker mint. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, all right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, today was pink day. So today was pink day. I looked in my closet and I had to find something um, pink, but you know me in black. I put on several different pink shirts and I just couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't make them work. So I found this. This is a Torrid shirt. Just long sleeve, torrid shirt. I threw it over a sweater because it's really cold here. I put it over a sweater turtleneck. And then I threw this black. I got this sweater from Torrid as well. And then these are um, my pants that I have on. Are, they look like work pants with the bell bottoms. Let me show you. I'll have to move this. I don't know if you can see them. Um, but they are... They look like work trousers, but they're actually a yoga pant, and they're made by a company called um, Beta Brand. I found them online, so I really, really like them. They're very, they're like wearing yoga pants, but they look like work trousers. And then I just put them on with my black high-heeled suede, my wedge booties. Um, so this is what I wore today. There you go, Cindy. I'm doing good every every day. I'm getting the outfits in. Go. We're doing the outfit challenge of the week, and today was pink. And I got this many years ago, and it's reversible. Great pink. I love those two colors. And so you put the necklace, and you got a V-neck okay. sweater on with yes, it. Yes, a black sweater on, black, and black jeans, slacks, and black shoes. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then that that was uh, that was Joanne, and now Teresa. Okay, I have a pink turtleneck on, which I've had many, many years. It's a land's on, right? Yes, and um, it goes, it pairs nicely with gray. So I had a gray sweater that's got a little bit of pink. Yeah, you got a real pale pink in the color. Yeah. And then you just wore your grayish black jeans mm -hmm. and then your new Uggs. Yep. Very nice. Thank you, ladies. The, we both had the gray and the pink. Yeah. Pink and gray is a great, pink. great match. I love pink yeah. and gray. Hello again, everybody. It is Wednesday morning. It is hump day. And today was sweet mint day. And I was really worried about it. But I was going through, because I have my closet all color coordinated. So I went through my green section and I wasn't seeing any mint green. But then I found this summer blousey tank top that I never took off the hanger to put away for summer. So I was able to make use of it today. So <clears throat> I didn't wear any earrings, but this is like a gray stone necklace on a gold chain with a little gold medallion underneath that I got off of eBay. And this is a, I know you probably can't tell that it's mint green, but it's just a a blousey sleeveless tank top that I got from uh, Torrid. Oh gosh, a couple summers ago, I think. And then I put it on with a long gray cardigan, which I will show you. 
it's kind of a thicker one and it was um, still had the tags on it and I think I want to say that I got it at Marshall's so what I did is I put on a um, a gray stretchy belt and then these are just like gray camo pants um, that I had and I put it on with my very shiny silver shoes pointed toes and these I'm not even sure where I got these but this is my mint green day I know it's mostly gray but it's what I got okay tomorrow is witchy woman day so I was talking to Debbie about it and I said well what do you think it means and She's like, well, I don't know, blacks and purples. And I'm like, oh, I think I might go all black. And then she goes, oh, I might go as Glenda the Good Witch from the North and wear all white. And I'm like, it's everybody's interpretation. That's why I like these uh, daily challenges. So anyway, thanks for staying tuned. And take a look at Debbie's coworkers. I got a couple viewers that are sending in some pictures. So I hope you're enjoying all the variations for the theme. So We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Hi everyone, today is Thursday morning. Just one more morning to wake up for the weekend. And today is Witchy Woman, so I kind of wore all black. So let me show you my earrings. I'm not even sure where I got these, but they're silver. And then this is a black hoop with a silver stone in the center. And then I just have on a short sleeve uh, peplum style top, you know, got to hide the gut. And then I put on my collared black faux leather jacket that I got from Eloquy. And I just put it on with a pair of my black Kenzie jeans, put it on with a pair of uh, lace up mid calf boots to kind of give it a more edgier look since it's supposed to be a witchy woman day. All right, so I guess I could have made it a little bit more witchy and done some pretty dark makeup, but I wasn't sure who was coming into the office today, so I chickened out. But that is my version. It'll be interesting to see what the other girls come up with for witchy woman. And tomorrow is hot cocoa day, so I'm thinking brown and white, but not sure. So anyway, have a good Thursday. Well, you're seeing this on Sunday, but regardless, have a good week. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye. Our Witchy Woman Dress Challenge Day. So today I wore um, just a skirt, a black skirt, and well, a printed skirt and jacket. And then I wore a torrid tank underneath it, a flowy one. And then I wore my uh, high boots that come up to my knees with a little kitten heel. And then I wore like um, nylons with little black, um, little black dots on them, which I thought was really fun. So <laughs> it's hard to do this by yourself. So that's the outfit. It's just a fun little outfit that I put together. Sorry, you don't really get to see it all that great, but I'll try harder next time to have somebody here to film me. Bye. Hi everyone, it is Friday, the last work day of my week, and today was hot cocoa day. So, let me tell you what I wore. Um, I just put on this red and white infinity scarf that I've had forever, because uh, that's the little bit of peppermint that I like in my hot cocoa. And then I just have this really fuzzy white turtleneck sweater that I got from Walmart. And then I added these brown and white checked pants that I got from JCPenney many years ago. And I put it on with my little white booties to bring the white in from the sweater. And here's the whole outfit for hot cocoa day. Especially since it's casual Friday in most offices. Okay, I hope you guys have a really good weekend. I know this weekend I am going to see my granddaughter's indoor soccer meet 
and I'm going to force John to take me to see a movie or two since I haven't been to the movies in forever and there's so many that I want to see. And I'm, I think I want to go see West Side Story, so let me know what you guys think of that. But enjoy your weekend. I hope you're enjoying all the outfits. And we'll see you next Monday. Bye, everyone.